All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and today, unlike other days and other videos, I will be talking about just one topic because it's very important. And after you learn this news that I have for you all, guys, you will discover how corrupt can be this soccer industry. And I mean, nobody could imagine how corrupt can it be until we heard, until we learned last night that Paris Saint-Germain is going to do something, is going to make a move that in my opinion is a huge scandal. It's a huge scandal, but the problem is nobody, literally nobody is going to say anything. That is the big problem and honestly my major concern. So let me explain you, I mean, let me get into the details because you will understand right after you hear this, you will understand why I'm telling you this, guys. And this is very important, but it's not only because it can have a lot of implications towards the signing of Kylian Mbappe for Real Madrid. Actually, they might retain to Kylian Mbappe after this news. I don't think it's possible, though. I mean, I, I don't think it's, it's very likely to happen, though, but... In my opinion, it can happen, and of course, there is some chances for them to retain Kylian Mbappe. But the problem here, and to make the things worse, it is not about Kylian Mbappe. This huge scandal is covering the whole soccer industry, and the problem is when you realize how corrupt can be this industry. That is the main problem. So, I'm going to get into the details, and I'm going to explain you why I'm, I'm saying this. Last night in France, in Le Parisien, the newspaper, the French, news, French newspaper, uh, claimed Paris Saint-Germain was going to make a move to increase capital and cover all the losses that they had last season. As you know, Paris Saint-Germain was one of the teams in Europe who lost more money. I mean, in the whole soccer spectrum, they lost about uh, 200 million euros only last year. But let me tell you what, the estimation, the prediction for this season is pretty much the same. Apparently, they will be losing money for about 250 and 20, 250 all the way to 300 million euros this season. So, technically, technically, in the real world, if Paris Saint Germain was a kind of company or something like that, they would be completely bankrupted. I mean, they were completely broke. You know what I'm saying? So that way, they should be finding, investing funds and things like that. I mean, they should be literally looking for more money, more investors and things like that to survive. A kind of similar situation to FC Barcelona, with the only difference that FC Barcelona had to sell Leo Messi to be able to survive and keep moving forward and all the stuff. But the only reason why Paris Saint-Germain didn't have to sell any player, it is because of that. Because they have the investors, they have the money, and it really doesn't matter how much money they can spend, how much money they can lose, because they, lo they can lose potentially every single euro in this world, because they will always have money in the bank. And I'm going to explain you why. Right after the news from Le Parisien, this morning in El Español in Spain, a magnificent article that came out written by Jorge Martinez claims, I mean, exposes, literally exposes every single number, every single detail, every single aspect of this increase of capital. Apparently, number one, Paris Saint-Germain will receive about 171 million euros, which is pretty much the number, the money they lost the last season. So that is pretty much to cover the budget to cover the deficit and to balance the budget right so that is number one a little bit suspicious here right because the number is very very similar number two that money is coming from a an investment fund called qatar investments sport it's like come on i mean come on so you have a company that has been uh consistently losing money the last 10 years but they still find people who want to invest in that company. I mean, doesn't it sound really weird for you, for you all guys? I mean, to me, it's really weird. Because if I know that this company is losing money every single year, what I'm not going to do is to put my money on it, right? 
but these guys allegedly have investors I mean all around the world and they still want to put money on Paris Saint Germain because they believe that Paris Saint Germain is still profitable I mean it is not profitable come on wake up everybody I mean it is not profitable profitable enough it is not profit profitable at all I mean as you can imagine if these guys have the money from this investment fund it is because this investment fund is just a strategy from the government of Qatar to in keep injecting money in Paris Saint Germain and the worst to top everything all and, and, and to make the things worse and the number three it is this meeting I mean this decision was taken last June right before the thing with Kylian Mbappe so by June they already knew that they had not to sell Kylian Mbappe because they were going to get the, the money that they needed so they were not in the need to sell Kylian Mbappe for 200 million I mean the number that would be redirected to pay the whole losses and to balance the budget with no problem but no they didn't do that just because they knew they were going to receive an additional 171 million to cover all the expenses so they had no necessity at all to sell a single player including Kylian Mbappe now you understand right these guys now have a budget of about 500 million total for the whole season but even with that they will be losing money in the next season for about 250 million euros I mean isn't sound um, I mean it's, it's not uh, kind of you know weird to keep you know receiving money from private investors when you're losing money every single year this is a huge scandal and nobody's going to tell anything nobody's going to say anything nobody's going to uh, make a call to PSG and say hey guys you're doing something really illegal this is completely illegal what you can do at all is whereas all the teams in Europe are trying to cut expenses and trying to adjust the, their budgets or even selling players to be okay with UEFA and rules and regulations and stuff like that Paris Saint Germain can retain players can sign players can pay huge salaries to every single player just because if they have any problem if a problem pops up they only have to make the call to Qatar and get the money that they need that's it so that is the thing isn't it a huge scandal for you guys now you understand my point I mean that is the thing if you don't have this kind of organisms that are supposed to be or to be born or to be created for controlling finances management and all the stuff from the European teams I mean what else you have there's nothing left you are completely unprotected you know what I'm saying what can Real Madrid do about that just nothing I mean other than to create the European Super League there's nothing else we can do about that and that is the big thing that is the problem you know what I'm saying so if nobody calls out to Paris Saint Germain for what they are doing I mean because of course they have a kind of you know alignment with the government of Qatar who is still in making and putting and, 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 and injecting more and more money to Paris Saint Germain? Soccer industry is not fair. You know what I'm saying? If everybody has to comply and follow the rules and all the stuff and regulations and stuff like that, which I agree with that, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to keep playing against and competing against other teams who are completely, you know, out of control of the track. Or whatever you want to call it because they don't have to comply with the regulations that everybody else has to you know what I'm saying so that is my point and that's why I think this is a huge scandal and somebody has to say something about that but I mean honestly to okay let me give you some good news here I don't think at all Kylian Mbappe will reject the idea to come and play in Real Madrid just because the money Paris Saint-Germain can put on the table to renew his contract to me Kylian Mbappe and this is something that uh, Tomás Roncero said this morning Kylian Mbappe has already taken a decision that decision is to succeed in Real Madrid no matter ma um, no matter what I mean no matter how much money they can put on the table no matter how much uh, gold they can throw on the table whatever it is Kylian Mbappe will play for Real Madrid because that is 
his dream is a dream come true and that is what he really wants right so i don't have any concern about that I, i'm not worried about that at all i i mean i can sleep very well every single night because i know that kylian mbappe will play for real madrid i'm i'm, I'm okay with that the problem here is if nobody calls out Paris Saint-Germain, if nobody stops this, if nobody tries to um, say something about that, about that, if nobody tries to raise their hand and say, hey, these guys are not complying with the rules and regulations, we have to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, a, a disciplinary proceeding or implement a fine or whatever it is. If nothing, I mean, if nobody does anything, how this soccer industry will work for everybody when it's supposed to be fair for everybody when it's supposed to be okay for everybody when it's supposed to protect the you know the fans and 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 the, and the entertainment and the industry and the business and all the stuff they are doing nothing and that includes the uefa and fifa you know what i'm saying because if they were really fair and 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 you know justice warriors or something like that they would say something at least i mean they would say to Paris and man hey you're doing something that is not very maybe it's not illegal but it's not very moral you know what i'm saying it's unethical it's like okay this is not good this is not right you're doing the things in a very wrong way you know what i'm saying you have to tell them this is not the european mentality this is not how we do the things here in europe somebody has to tell them and right now, because to me, this is a major concern. This is a major issue that we have with these guys. So, and, and let's see what happens with Newcastle. Because now Newcastle, they have this super massive uh, investment fund, uh, sorry, investment fund from Ben Salman and all the stuff. But they are kind of creating something from scratch. So we still have to wait to judge what is going to happen but Paris Saint-Germain is a different thing Paris Saint-Germain is a club that has been around in the soccer industry for about 10 to 12 years so they pretty much know what they have to do and what the rules are and what the the uh, regulations are and all the stuff so they know about everything and now they are retaining and keeping and, and signing players big names big players with insane salaries just because they know that if money is needed they have it and they know how to do it that is the thing so i i mean i hope i'm not the only one in this war because this is very bad for everybody and i hope you guys understand my point and really call the attention of the people if you can just say hey this is not fair at all and what they are doing it is very you know illegal immoral unethical whatever you want to call it but it's not good it's not right it's not it's not the right way it's not the right thing to do when it comes to soccer industry, when it comes to signings, salary, budgets, uh, rules and stuff like that. So that's why I just wanted to talk to you about this thing, this whole article that you can read in El Español in, in Spain. And we'll see what happens, guys. I mean, I don't think there's going to be any conflict or issue with Kylian Mbappe because I still think, I still believe that he will play for Real Madrid. But of course, this is not good for anybody.